Hi, I thought I'd upgrade my shipping computer here, which is uh, this beastie on the back. It's an MSI uh, jobby here, and um, it's, yeah, it, it does the job. It's just for my uh, shipping, but it's a little bit slow, and anyway, I thought to see if I had a processor to actually upgrade from this. And what it's got in it now is an Intel Pentium uh, G3220 at 3 gig, and that's a Haswell uh, code name for those playing along at home. So it's one of the Pentium jobbies. It's only got 8 gig, and that's the uh, motherboard for those playing along at home. It's an MS7790 or an 8H1TI um, AMI bias and uh, the graphics nothing whatever and um there it is in reference to like if you do an i7 4790 it's actually it's not too bad but anyway it does seem to be a little bit slow so i thought um i would upgrade this thing now it turns out it's an lga 1150 socket from uh 2013 and if you scroll down here then uh we can find this our one right down the bottom and there it is there, G3220, and, well, it's not that great. Pass mark of only 1897 there. Now, um, can we actually replace it? Well, yes, I looked in my uh, box of uh, processors. Sorry if you can't see that, but uh, that is an Intel i5-4590. And, I don't know, I pulled that out of a dumpster uh, PC somewhere along the line, so... Um, 4590, we do actually have it here, 4590, there it is, and that's got a pass mark of uh, 5366. So, I'm going to take this thing apart, I've never actually taken apart this uh, machine before, and we'll uh, see if we can swap the uh, CPU in it, and that's uh, probably due for a thermal upgrade anyway. So here it is, assembled in the UK, thank you very much, and uh, it's a ProBox 23 by the looks of it from MSI, but it is made in China, but you know, anyway. Um, so yeah, it just sits on a little uh, cradle on the back there, it's upside down, all the electrons are going to fall out. I have cleaned a bit of the uh, dust off on the back here, but yeah, that can do with a good blow job. Um, and it's it does the job, like it's nothing fancy, um, it's <laughs> quite old, so... Anyway, let's crack it open and see what's what. So yes, I know this is a nothing burger upgrade, but hey, I do actually use this machine almost every day, so it's, and I've got that processor line around, so why the heck not, right? There you go. We're in, and oh, that's reasonably clean, I guess, for, I don't know, being used like every day for oh, oh, six, seven years at least, I think, so anyway, um, that looks like a stock uh, Intel cooler there, didn't know it had a little uh, a PCI uh, slot there, that's interesting, because as I said, I've never actually taken this thing apart, and there's the battery, I thought, is that just flapping around in the breeze, no, no, it's got a bit of uh, celastic holding it down there, but uh, it's a little bit how you do it, oh, is there another? Another PCI slot down there, isn't that, isn't that neat? And of course it's got a uh, external uh, power brick as well, so no internal uh, power supply. I don't know what size, um, is that, I don't know my PC form factors anymore, is that like a mini ITX or something, I've probably got that wrong, so yeah, feel free to scream in the comments down below, but maybe, I don't know, is it, a, I assume it's a standardised form factor, and I could upgrade the thing, but of course, why? I'm going to give this a free dumpster upgrade, and there's the um, SSD in it, so uh, good RAM. <laughs> I don't know, May 15, there you go. So yeah, so it's eight years old now, but it still works, and uh, oh, it's, ooh, ooh, I could maybe take the, uh, no, I don't need more than eight gigs of RAM, eight gigs plenty, probably got some RAM lying around, but uh, yeah, I don't think I uh, need to, I don't need to expand it, I use the external um, Ethernet, so, you know, you could probably plug, like, a Wi-Fi module in there or something like that, and, uh, what's that over there? What's that, um, FlatFlex socket for? That looks interesting, does it not? Anyway, um, genuine Corsair RAM, it's got another external uh, SATA there, so you could whack a second drive in, but, um, yeah, as I said, 
There's nothing much doing here. It's got the four uh, USBs. This doesn't, uh, yeah, it's got, only got two USB uh, threes on the back, but I don't need USB three. I just hook all my uh, printers and whatnot up to this thing. Um, and that's about all she wrote, because it's just for my shipping, which evblog.store, by the way. Um, yes, I've moved over to uh, Shopify now um, for various reasons, and it's all consolidated over there now. But anyway, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know. Thoughts and comments down below? I've got no idea. Anyway, let's take out the processor. So you don't need it, even though they've got a screwdriver slot on there. You don't need to, you don't actually need a screwdriver for that. So we well, shouldn't. Anyway, that's the that's the theory. I pull those up, and that that should come out, should it not? Oh, yeah. There we go. Just more force required. Does it? How does that come out? I don't know. I don't use. I don't do these things. I rarely do this sort of thing. Once again, everyone's probably screaming at me. Going, oh, Dave, you've got to access the bottom of the board. There's a clip on the bottom or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Did I? Is there a clip? I think there's a clip on the. Is there a clip on the side of it or something? But I wasn't able to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Just have to get a bit medieval. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a. Is that blast, black plastic tab there? Is that a? Is that a tab to lift up? I'm not entirely sure how it works, but. We got it, and we are in Light Flynn. There you go. There's the paste, or what's left of it. That's not too bad. Seen a lot worse than that, so yeah, I'll give this a good blowjob too. Uh, sorry, I wasn't running with a higher depth of field, so things might have been out of focus -y in the depth region, but here you go. There is our processor, and yeah, it's a little bit... <laughs> yeah, that paste. Yeah, seen better days. Um, oops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install that processor first, I think, before I give it a blowjob, because I don't want uh, any of the dust to then get into the little um, pogo-y uh, pins in there. So there she is. Looks in pretty good nick. As I said, I do believe I got this out of some, would have pulled it from some dumpster machine somewhere along the way. So let's install that. Pin one there, and is that pin one over there? Yeah, that looks that looks seated to me. So, and put that in, and that slides under under that screw there. And Bob's your uncle. Look at that. All right, time for a blowjob in the car park. In the fan. There you go, look at that, clean as a whistle. What a Bobby Dazzler. So, we're going to uh, whack some heatsink compound on. Um, There's this thermal uh, MX4 Arctic wankery uh, compound. And let's put a small amount on that, on there. And Yes, crap on down below, which is the best method. Go on, knock yourself out. Around about there, something like that. Everyone's going to have a whinge. Could have gone for the complete paste method. Could have gone for the dot. Could have gone for whatever. I don't care. Tell someone who cares. Now, before everyone starts screeching in the comments down below, uh, Dave, this one's 84 watts TDP, as opposed to... Um, 53 watts TDP for this old jobby here. Well, I had a squiz and it seems to be, this seems to be about the same size as the stock cooler that comes with this uh, 4590 here. So I'm going to say she'll be right, mate. No worries. Um, so yeah, I'm going to whack this in and give it a go. And of course, uh, there's no other internal um, like heating at all. The power supplies uh, external uses a solar state drive. You know, not much else going on in here. And of course, it's got a direct uh, vent straight on top of it like that. So yeah, no worries. Anyway, let's whack it back in. I think that dropped in. Yeah, that feels good enough for Australia. 
All right, this is not feel a vision, but yeah, she'll be right. And there we go. I think she's in like Flynn. And we'll whack that back. I'll whack the hard drives in, and Bob's your uncle. There you have it. It's like a bought one. The CPU temperature is at 41 degrees. I got an error message when it booted up about the memory uh, being, uh, you know, the memory was changed or whatever. But <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's hunky dory. I don't know. 41 degrees. Sounds okay. I can select the fan profiles and stuff like that. So, don't want to dick around with that now. I've never had an issue with it before. You know, you can have your I don't know, target temperature and, you know, we can play around with that if we need to. But I'm doubting it, and I can't hear that, really. Um, it's pretty good. Oh, it's up to 47, 48 now. Okay, there you go. It's creeping up there. Save changes and reboot. Yeah, it reboot itself. Enough to go into Windows. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe your Windows doesn't like the CPU change. It's got to do a few things, I'm sure. Um, yeah, the integrated graphics has slightly changed from the 4000 to the 4600. I think maybe it needs to rethink on that. Okay, it does feel noticeably quicker. And let's go CPU ID here. No worries. I5, 95, a 45, 90. And we can do, and the graphics says, yeah, it doesn't say anything. And we can just run the bench, bench that sucker. And we can get the references. What do we have before? Even from a i7 5960X. There you go. It's faster than an i7 5960X, except it's got more. Except that one's got more threadery doo doos. And my shipping program is working. Okay, I'm running Open Hardware Monitor, so we can have a look at the CPU temp. Sorry if you're getting some. Uh, patterning on the LCD here. CPU core 4740, 40, 43 degrees, is it? 46, meh, whatever. Like I said, I don't do much on this. I just do the shipping. I might play like a podcast or a video in the background while I'm doing my shipping, but uh, that's about all she wrote. So yeah, and the CPU package is uh, 15 or 18 watts there. So yeah, not a problem. It's all those people crapping on about the heatsink. I'm sure there were. Um, nah, it's good enough for Australia. No worries. There you go. So, upgraded shipping machine. Thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.